Good day, everyone. This is Barn Man. And Elio 77. Welcome back to Quest Calendars 2024, The Leaf Riders of Rinwood. Today is Tuesday, June 18th, 2024. AKA Tuesday, Summer Tide. Well, look what day it is. Level up day. Leveling up. We have gained enough experience to increase Cora's level. That means that we get to move items over. This always gets a little bit tricky going from one page to the other. But I think we can do it. As her items go, I think Brilliant Hourglass is the only thing that we would still keep. Because Silver Tongue is already resolved, so has Fake Map and Spring Source. Because that was the water, the map we returned and got our amber back from the, the merchant. And Silver Tongue, we uh, got a bonus for that a while back. Let's just still keep Silver Tongue. You think? And Thank Spring you. Source. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, Brilliant Hourglass. Hopefully we don't get too many other things we need to list. Take a look at how much less room there is. Since Cora got so many extra abilities. Oh, we got two extra abilities. You want to see what they are? Lucky and Wall of Knives. Wall of Knives, twice per rest, we can add a D6 bonus to all defense rolls. So now we have Flurry of Daggers for attack. We have Wall of Knives, twice per rest. And Royal Command went up. To twice. We do get to, oh, twice per page. That's yeah. super helpful. It's all yeah. Well, it's always been once per page, but yeah. So that's nice. I wasn't sure if it would be twice per page. Or, um, and then Lucky, you have said so many times that if Cora had Lucky. Yes. The fact that now if you roll a, a, a one on a d20, you can re-roll it. Yes. Super good. All right. Well, let's take a look. So, we do have to move our bonuses. I think we're gonna need to get our equipment sheet because our equipment sheet gives us some of our bonuses, like our health bonus. So we have a max of 28 health. Nice. And because we were at full health, we're going to go ahead and go straight up to full health. Nice. He's in battle. Yeah. Our attack. 2d8. Ooh, yeah, our damage is up. And that's a plus two because of our bow and our gloves. That's we also have uh, a plus one, an extra plus one defense. So that's going to be a plus five instead of a plus four. Our attack now, though, is a plus six. We have two virtue. And how much, Amber? Nine. Six rations. Okay. Now it's our stats that are always a little tricky. So here's what I think we want to do. I think we're going to set our stats that we have previously, and then we'll see what our level up stats become, okay? So it's a zero on strength. Three, zero, one, one, three. Three, zero, one, three. Okay. Now let's see what Cora gets stronger at. We have two points that we can allocate. Let's put to them any of our traits. Strength and uh, constitution. Yeah. Take our zeros up. All right. That's what we did last. I believe it is. I think we've just slowly done that. Now we're taking our ones up to our. Th to our th so here's our new Cora, level four blade dancer. We'll need to remember, I don't think we'll forget that we have Lucky. We need to remember Wall of Knives and Flurry of Daggers because we haven't used those as often as, as we... Never 
We've rarely used Flurry of Stabs. I think we've used Flurry of Daggers maybe once. Like, bought. And... Maybe the Nets of Boss, we use both of them, because then... Beefy. Could be. Yeah. Well, that's our new leveled up Korra. And she will continue her journey tomorrow back into the swamp area, I would assume. Yeah. Uh, once she leaves Medbrook, of course. It's really fun. It starts the golden acorn, then it starts sprouting. Now it's a sapling. Yep. Getting bigger. And by the end of the year, to a full grown tree. Mighty oak. Mighty oak. Cora the oak. All right. Well, we'll see you tomorrow. Farewell. Bye.